hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we would be talking about sap database tables and we would be also going inside the sap system to understand the attributes of some of the tables so let's start so a database table is an object type in the data dictionary that can be defined independently of a database in the dictionary it also stores the actual data in the matrix in the form of rows and columns so one particular table will have fields and each field has a data type has a character length and a description so this part we would go inside the sap system to watch it more closely now there are three types of abap database tables the first one is the transparent table a transparent table contains the application data that represents the master data or transaction data used by an application like a table of vendors or a table of customers is an example of a master data like the tables are mara marci these are examples of transparent tables the second type of tables are pool tables the pool table in a map shows the many to one relationship with the table definition in the database which means for a single table defined in sap database there are various tables in the abap dictionary for example bscg and au aa and there are many other tables as well which are pool tables the third type of tables are cluster tables that are similar to pool tables they also show many to one relationship with the table definition in the database all the cluster tables are stored in a single table in the database and that table is known as table cluster example are m underscore m v e r a and also m underscore m v e r b etc now let's go into the sap system and check these types of tables so we are at the sap screen so let us check all the tables that we have discussed so the first type of table that we discussed was transparent table an example can be mara so in the sap screen we can type the transaction sc11 or sc16n so we go inside and then then we type mara m a r a and then the display the go to display option so this is the transparent table mara and the description of this table is general master data so this mara table has all the information about the master data of the material and these are the fields like client material number creation date we also have material type okay material status material type and and various other fields index is vector base unit of measure you know these are some of the fields that we have so earlier we had seen that every transparent table has fields so these are the fields and every field will have a data element a data type length and description so if i double click on this field i will have the information about the description the domain the data type the number of characters the output length and if there is an input help we have details of the input help also available now all transparent tables will have indexes so you see this tab indexes so if i click on here so it will have various indexes so these are the index names and the short text whereas for pool tables and cluster tables it will not have this indexes so if you want to check a pool table like a a u double a and we display we see that there would not be any indexes like if i click on the indexes tab it says no indexes found so most of the pool tables does not have a secondary index so in this way we can distinguish between a transparent table and a pool table now for a cluster table we could only access that table via open sql and we do not have open sql here so i would not be able to show so this is the basic difference between all these tables hope you got value from the video so stay tuned if you are getting value from the video do like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions or feedback share them in the comment section below till we meet again next time you all take care and goodbye